Hey girl, I'm finally getting around to it and I will be changing up this toggle light switch to a paddle switch one. If you watch my other video on how to change a wall outlet, you'll come to see that the process isn't all too different for this one. Now, this specific light switch right here is a single pulse switch, which means it only controls a singular circuit. In this case, it controls the outlet on this wall right here, which is connected to my Christmas tree. A three-way light switch will look the same as this one, except it will have an additional brass screw on the left-hand side, which is your traveler wire, which will run power to an additional electric unit, allowing you to control a single circuit from two different locations. For example, I have two access points to my kitchen. On both ends, I have light switches. If I enter through here, I can turn on the lights with this switch. And if I exit from the other side, I can turn it off with this switch and vice versa. So you must determine what the functional goal is of the light you are trying to change so you can make sure you purchase the correct item. Here's what else you're going to need. A flathead and star screwdriver. In my case, a single pole 15 amp light switch. A cutter, a stripper, you may use this, you may not. Sometimes the wires are inserted in the back of the receptacle instead of being screwed down on the side. So to make my life easier and speed up the process, I just cut it down and strip the insulation from the ends. Ample lighting, and if you're going to be switching off the face plate like I am today, get yourself a new face plate. As a reminder, we're going to be dealing with electrical wirings here. So if you do not feel comfortable with this, hire a professional to help you out. This can be dangerous, so you must make sure to take the best precaution while doing this. Other than that, I know it can be a bit intimidating at the beginning, but no worries, you got this. If you don't know already, my name is Marley Espinales. I love DIY, and my goal is to teach you how to do certain things around the house yourself and save some costs along the way. Before we do anything, we have to turn off the power to the switch or else you're going to electrocute yourself and that won't be fun. As a matter of fact, it can be deadly. To do this, you're going to have to go to your breaker and turn off the switch that corresponds to the circuit you're going to be working with. My breaker is in the garage, so before I go over there, I'm going to turn on this light switch, which will light up my Christmas tree here. That way I know if this turns off, when I turn off the breaker, I will know I turn off the correct one. So your breaker will look like this. Once you locate yours, um, look for the switch you are working on and just switch it off like this, All right? It's as simple as that. Confirm that the light switch you had turned on is off and then you can move on to the next step. If it didn't, then it must mean your breaker is mislabeled and you will have to find the correct one. Next, we're going to remove the face plate. <laughs> Once the switch is exposed, you'll see two screws holding it to the wall. Let's remove those. Once the screws are out, you can pull the light switch out as much as you can. Um, usually there's three wires, but in this case, we only have two. Um, your neutral wire, which is your white wire, your black hot wire, and usually there's a third one, which is your ground wire. I want you to remember how your wires are connected because you're going to connect them back the same way. If your white wire is on top, you will attach the white wire to the top brass screw on the new switch, same with the black wire. So now that I pulled this out from the wall and I only have two, two wires here, no ground wire, um, you also see in my case that the wires are attached to the back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these out and I'm going to peel the insulation off and slip it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I got my wire cutter here. I'm gonna try to cut it as close as possible. So, snap, and snap. So now I have my two wires out here. I need more space so I can wrap around the wire, around the, the screws here. So I'm gonna cut that insulation. Insulation comes off. Let's do the same to the white wire. Mm -hmm. 
Now that you've removed your old switch, grab your new switch. If you're unsure which is the top and the bottom, I have an easy way for you to know. You'll actually see that on the top left hand side here, they have labeled it top. There you go. First thing you're going to want to connect um, is your ground wire, uh, if you have one. That will go around this green screw. I suggest trying to make a loop first with that wire and then wrap it clockwise around the screw so when you tighten the screw with your screwdriver, um, the clockwise force of tightening it makes the loop wrap tighter around it. So then you're going to connect your white wire and then your black wire. Remember the same position as it was in the old switch. Once you've connected the, your screws, push the wires back um, into the electrical metal box. Please make sure that the terminals are not touching this box or it can cause a breaker to trip or create any other issues within the box. So let's go ahead and do that. Then screw your new switch down to the wall and put your face plate on. I got a screwless wall plate. Since this is gonna be an entrance switch, I just wanted to make it, give it that extra feature, make it look, look a little nicer, so. So once you're done with this, you can test it and make sure that it's working properly. So I'm gonna to go to my garage and turn on the breaker I turned off earlier in this video. So the moment of truth will commence, let's see. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see this Christmas tree turns on. Woohoo, it works. Okay, there you have it, not too hard, right? Now you know how to remove an old light switch and replace it with a new one. So please hit that like button below if you like this video, as it will let me know you appreciated the information shown here. Remember, this is a single pole switch. If you're interested in learning the steps on how to change a three-way light switch, write three-way light in the comments and I'll work on a new video for you. Or if there's anything else you want to walk through of, let me know below and I'll do my best to create it for you. Together, we'll keep learning and growing. Together, we got this. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time. Yeah, I did it.